Did you know that you too can be a Power Query Pro? And all you need to know is how to effectively use your applied steps. I'm going to show you exactly how in part 2 of this video series. And by the end of it, your Power Query Pro skills would have increased exponentially. Here's part 1 of this series if you would like to check it out. The link is in the description below also. Now let's check out part 2 on how to create these killer calculations in Power Query. For our next example, we want to show only the names of the students that did not make the required pass rate and their test scores. And we want this to be dynamic, so if we change the required pass rate from 90 to 60 and hit refresh, our table updates automatically. Let's see how we can do this. We have our source data in a table format called test score data. And the required pass rate is also in a table format called pass rate. First, let's send the pass rate table to Power Query. Here in the query editor, we will still need to do some quick transformations to this table. But for now, let's send this back to Excel as a connection only. Next, let's send our test score data to Power Query. Now we have our two tables in our query editor. But what we actually want is for our pass rate table to be an object so that we can insert it into our test score data query. Let's remove the change type step as we don't need that. To create the object, right click on the 90 and click on drill down and the value for the pass rate is only returned. And if we look to the left here, we can see that this no longer shows as a table. Instead, it's now an object that we can use. In our test score data query, Let's perform a filter step on our test score column. You can filter on any value you like, it doesn't really matter. And click on OK. And we have the filtered rows step here in our applied steps. Now we need to assign our pass rate object that we just created here in the filtered row step. So we will do this in our formula bar. Let's delete the value that we just filtered on and start typing pass rate. And the IntelliSense brings it up, click on that and hit enter. And our query updates to show no student names as there were no students that had a pass rate of 90. But we want students that scored less than the pass rate. So in the formula bar, remove the equal sign and replace it with the less than sign and press enter. And our table updates correctly. Let's send this back to Excel. Let's test out the automation by changing the pass rate to 75 and hitting refresh and everything works perfectly. Please remember to hit the notification bell if you would like to know when the next video in the series is released.